I think that part of the retreat from music, and like you said, it was never music. It was always the people around it. It was the industry around it. How do we create better systems? How do we create better support that also prioritizes people mental health or physical health? So for me, if you've known guys that long and you're still making music, you've already won. Like that to me is the ultimate success. You know There's not I mean? a lot of people that can say, hey, you know, in our 40s and late 30s, we're coming back to a whole environment and being like, we want to make art for the sake of making art. Like, we love this. We could have it could have been anything if we continue this and not stop. But we're all like aware that the world we live in is we have we live with that. We're like, now let's just do it because we love to do it. And we're all like, we're hard working. And I, I like not to toot our own horn, but like this is a group of talented motherfuckers that have chemistry on stage and like how that comes out in the evolution of the music even in a year and a half is like yo it makes me think why did i stop doing music for 10 years which was one of your previous questions right yeah. it's like the environments we put ourselves through and like our own nature our human nature and having to like hurt because we feel betrayal in music or love or relationships you know but after this 10 years that's what's actually come completely around and all these songs are about this 10 years of munition Whoa. that i have now so it's like a whole lesson the first album we released was actually supposed to be mimicking john mayer continuum no way 2008 i listened to that 150 uh, times uh, who did it yeah what an amazing fucking album but the but the entire concept of the album is all the stages of going through the breakup in a relationship uh, which i had been through some like dark places in relationships so like a lot of our music ended up being formulated over like trying to sing a song collectively like when sean would give me a guitar riff i'd be like what were you feeling when you were when you were writing this riff that's big you know and yeah. like let me try to embody part of my experience and your experience and tell your story through this melody yeah. through the lyrics and like have this be something that was all ours like for instance in the band like our our breakdown is like we are all equals in the band because i write lyrics and sean writes melodies like we're not like we own 50 50 in that like we've been in this since the beginning so we're like we share equally in what we're doing which i think is also a very uncommon reality oh yeah was it always made of mana or did it take it was a names? band called freedom freedom when you were oh. a child oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> i love that name <laughs> it was literal freedom it was like, <laughs> like freedom yeah, there was a, I love that. I just seen like a, a little Phil, like Freedom. There was actually a '60s band that was named Freedom, and we got a cease and desist as little kids. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it was pretty funny. They're like, um, Mom. So we're like we're ABC Freedom, and we're little what is, kids. We what hated does that shit. Mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. you said the names of the song are all correlated. What does coal miner mean? Because that's the new one. So what's the story behind coal miner? So coal miner was a song that I probably wrote. Almost 12 years ago was like, um, no. <laughs> it's talking about when you go through everything and you've been working so hard and like whether or not you're in a mine with others or by yourself and you're like, you're searching for the night. It's like I'm searching and it's like I'm working in a coal mine, yeah. But I'm gonna fall the dime through the ground so fast, slaving in the tunnels to find my way home. It's like, Mm. You're doing the work. You're like fucking. You're you're going through it. Like I wanna wanna take just to give me free, slaving to the bone, forty dollars a week, telling you that I gotta get back on the road. It's like twelve years ago, I was saying to myself that I'm like working at this, but I'm not doing it. I'm not being creative. I'm not like giving my soul back to what is my nature of like being a creative vessel this life around. So. It sounds very bluesy too. It is. There's a lot of blues and soul in that. Soul for yeah. sure. You can hear that. I feel that. What are some other names on the album? Uh, after the well, let's see. This this was the second single from our current album that's going to be released in January. Okay. But some of the previous songs were like After the Storm. I remember that. Um, Sinner. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Uh, Tired of Waiting. Uh -huh. Which is one of my favorites from the last one. We just released a song called Matters of the Heart. Uh -huh. I remember that. Um, I like that. We've got a couple that are coming out that are like. Should have you know. known. <laughs> Should have known when you said that I would be a tough lesson from the very start. Yes, <laughs> I love that. It's such it's such an uplifting song to me. Um, I feel like I'm floating on clouds when I listen to it. Thank you. Like it feels very, yeah, empowering, inspiring. And to me, I feel like your music, from what I've heard, it takes a lot of different directions. Tonight, it's cool to see the freestyler, too. I haven't done that in a long time, like to that 
capacity. I'm very inspired being around you guys. Like, yeah, that, that was so cool show. to see. Because right. I'm used to the produced in the studio, Phil. Yeah. Like, I've maybe seen you freestyle yeah. a couple times in the past, but last that's night was... That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> that's what it's about, man. It's really fucking dope. Um, Donuts and improvising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm working in a coal mine, yeah But I'm gonna pull the dime through the grime so fast Slaving in the tunnels to buy my way home